Okay, good evening YouTube. Uh, probably the most important video I've ever had to bring to you. I'm going to make it really quick. What I need you to do though is to spread the word and spread awareness. Basically, the ball has already started rolling for a national service bill 2013-2014. Now, national service bill for that, read conscription, okay? You're going to be enlisted as soon as you're of a fighting age. If we want to look back historically, this kind of bill's been introduced twice in the UK. First, reared its ugly head in 1916, during the First World War. And then, it re-emerged in 1937, and we all know what happened a couple of years after that. Now, this one is entitled, The National Service Bill, 2013 to 2014. It says here the sponsor is a Mr. Philip Hollibone. I've been reliably informed that some of the co-sponsors to this were a Mr. Peter Bone, a Mr. Christopher Chope, C-H-O-P-E, Mr. David Nuttall, and a Mr. Philip Davies. Okay, these are the ones who are, if you're of fighting age, selling your life away, or if you've got children who are growing up and are going to be of fighting age in the next couple of years, this will affect them, okay? And if this does not affect you in any way, say you're a pensioner, or if it just doesn't affect you, it honestly should offend you, okay? And we need to spread awareness on this. Now, if I just point down to this here, the first reading of this bill, which was a private bill, which means it's discussed in a smoky back room by a bunch of Zionists that claim they're the government, okay? It was then first read publicly in the House of Commons on the 24th of June, 2013. Now, how many of you knew that? Should this not have been, like, headline news at the time? Should it not? Well, we have an our chance to raise awareness and try and show them public opinion, since they are down there, to represent us, the public. Okay, that second reading is coming up. On the 6th of September 2013. Now, for my American viewers out there, we do the opposite way with the dates. Okay, that's the day here, that's the month, and that's the year. Like I say now, I'll just read this. Uh, latest news on the National Service Bill. This bill is expected to have its second reading debate on the 6th of September 2013. This bill was presented to Parliament on 24th of June 2013. This is known as the first reading, and there was no debate on the bill at this stage. No debate, okay? This bill's a private member's bill. They are often not printed until until close uh, close to the second reading debate. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I'll spit the words out there. I'm that angry and I'm that confused about what all this means. I'll carry on. If the text is not yet available here, and you wish to know more about this bill, contact its sponsor, Mr. Philip Hollibone. Okay, so there we go. There's our mission, guys. Let's get contacting Mr. Hollibone. Because right now, this bill that he's introducing, and it hasn't even had a debate yet, it affects all of us. Not even just in the UK, but worldwide. Because we certainly ain't fight setting up a full, fully enlisted, conscripted army to sit on these shores. Oh no. And let's look at the bigger picture, okay? I've been saying for a long time now, the fuse has been lit for World War III. That is quite obvious. Now, how long that fuse burns, and how long we've got left before this war goes hot, is anyone's guess. But looking at the current situation in the Middle East, we are definitely approaching the precipice of a global conflict. And when you look at something like this bill here, it certainly confounds that idea. Now... Again, the contact that brought me this absolutely, brilliantly and accurately summed it up as being part of Agenda 21. Now, why is it part of Agenda 21? Because it blatantly ties into their depopulation agenda. And while we're at it, what's the bets? When you are of a fighting age, you'll go for a medical and then that's when the eugenics will kick in. Because if you're not fit to fight and you're useless, in their opinion, guess what? You're just going to be cast aside. You are going to be persona non grata. 
If you're lucky, you'll be allowed to make the bullets in a factory. Okay? The same bullets that'll be going out to help kill another enlisted, conscripted army of people, no doubt. And all the time, your globalists, and I'm not talking about your David Camerons, that is just a puppet. He's just a lackey of the real globalists. But the ones nearer the top of the pyramid, they'll all be sitting there, their new world order coming to fruition, whittling down the 7 billion to the 500 million that they desire for this new world order of theirs. And you know what? It affects every single one of you watching this, even if you don't happen to be British. This is coming to a country near you. Okay? Now, we've already seen America. They're the policemen of the world. They're acting like the policemen of the world. Part of me thinks that they're acting up that way because the British Empire tells them to. Okay? Look at Obama when he met the Queen. The guy nearly broke his back bending to her. That showed you exactly who his boss is. So, just to reiterate, guys, conscription could well be on the way to the UK to fight in a war that is solely designed to make the military-industrial complex and the bankers richer and humans on this planet fewer and far between. Spread this. Tell everyone. And like I said before, if somehow you aren't affected, you really should be offended. <laughs>